the next thing that we want to learn is fragmentation specifically mass fragmentation so mass fragmentation mimics the molecular fragmentation in mass spectrometer when you apply the mass fragmentation tool to a structure you cut through the structure severing its bond and creating fragments from the original structure this is not a predictive tool you must specify what bonds are to be broken so to fragment a structure you have to use the fragmentation tools so let's start by just drawing a structure let's draw cyclohexane and come in so you have cyclohexane and you can choose the fragmentation tool and let's choose a bond that you want it to go through and you have fragmented it so you have kind of symmetry so you have this formula and this formula having the same let's say we go with benzene now and if we choose the fragmentation tool and go through it this way the more you change so you see as you change or as you fragment through different bonds you see that the exact mass and the chemical formula also changes and now you fragmented it that way so that is basically how to do fragmentation we only drew for a straight line but if you want to draw for a curved line you have to hold the alt key whilst drawing so if you choose a fragmentation tool and you hold the alt key you can move it around any way that you want so that is also another thing to to find this is just a caution when the line crosses a bond the formula and exact mass of the fragment on either side of the bond appears as if the bond were homolytically broken that is a single bond turns into a mono radical on each fragment a double bond turns into a pair of Di radicals. If more than one bond is crossed, all fragments on each side of the line are considered together. If the only bond crossed is a ring bond, a single formula mass pair display. So that is for instance if you have this one and you only fragment through one bond, you still have a single mass pair display. So that is basically that the other thing is you can also tear this down so the fragmentation tool then now you have your fragmentation toolbar so what we've done is mass fragmentation now you can also do synthesis retrosynthesis so let's just draw the structure which is just your regular benzene so chem draw includes two tools that help you draw synthesis reaction the synthesis tool draws so this one so this tool draws a synthesis reaction based on the product structure that you specify. Alternatively, the retrosynthesis tool draws the reaction with the product on the left and an arrow pointing to the reactant. These tools are in a fragmentation palette as I've shown. Let me just copy this so we, we have another copy here. Okay, so let's start with synthesis. So for synthesis, all you do is just select your synthesis and then cut through where you want to show the reaction so it gives you this one plus this one will give you this one so that is synthesis now we can also do retrosynthesis where you can cut through the same section and now you have your product first and then your reactant second so that is also something to note under fragmentation so the structure perspective tool when you come to the main tool bar you see this as your structure perspective 
Now the structure perspective tool can help you to tilt molecules or portions of molecules through three dimensions with a structure perspective tool. Okay, so you can it can help you tilt so all of these are selected. So let me let's just select one of okay, let's select this one and then head over to the structure perspective and you can tilt this in in three dimensions so that is also something important to note let's try this one too so you see you can even select all your work and just tilt all of them together as an object you can even flip them aside so it's in 3d you can play around with that now when you hold the shift whilst dragging so let's hold the shift you okay before i do that let me before i do that let me just select this one so and then so when you hold the shift key whilst you drag you limit your movement only in the x or y direction only. you can move in the z direction so that is also something to note